Welcome to Louisville, Kentucky for the 52nd annual National RV Show. This place is massive. Even if you're used to the NEC show in the UK, you'll be blown away by the scale of this event. And not only that, it's completely different to anything we're used to in the UK. I've got my GoPro camera with me today, and I'm gonna walk you around the show, show you a few things to see. The RV Industry Association attracts more than 7,500 traders to its annual show of strength every December, and the market is still growing, with RV sales in 2015 expected to top 360,000, the majority of which will be trailers and fifth wheelers. And of course in America, big is best. It's easy to accuse the heavy, dated looking trailers on show in Kentucky of being dinosaurs, but look harder and there's still plenty of innovation. Of course, not everything here is on a massive scale. Take this. This fantastic little caravan is a kennel, just the thing for the caravaner who has everything. It was built by the purchasing manager at Riverside RV, and hopefully they're going to make a few more. And now we're inside its big brother. Not a lot bigger, to be honest, but big enough for a family of four to go away for a weekend in quite a bit of comfort. This van is particularly fascinating. It looks retro, but it's got all the modern conveniences. But more interesting than that, it's completely built by a local Amish community. That means the finish is really good, and it's lovely and traditional. You can really sense the loving care and attention that's gone into building this van. Apparently, they work from 5 a.m. till 1 p.m., then the working day is done, and they head back to the farm. Well, you could be forgiven for thinking that I've gone back to my apartment to chill out after a long day at the show. But in fact, I'm inside a Tourer. This is the biggest van I could find that has a conventional tow hitch rather than a fifth wheel, because that's a pretty alien concept to us in the UK. This is called the Resort, and it's a pretty appropriate name. It is vast. There's an enormous living room here with our faux open fire, a dining area, a massive kitchen, and in the back, a huge double bedroom and a very generous shower. Well, it's been a long old day and I think I might have a lie down on one of the biggest beds here as well. Now, one of my favourite things about the American industry is they're far less interested in water ingress and warranties and more about having a fantastic time when you're on holiday. And what is more fun than eating outdoors? This Solaire by Palomino is perfectly equipped. We've got a swing out barbecue. We've got a cooker that you can mount outside on this slide out drawer. A sink out here. There's even a fridge for all those Bud Lights you want to bring with you on tour. Here, it's all about scale. We're inside the wonderfully named Cedar Creek Silverback. And this thing is just massive. Admittedly, it's a fifth wheel rather than a conventional tow bar, so it means it mounts on the flatbed of the pickup to be towed. But it's still insanely big. Slide outs on both sides, there's even a fireplace. In the UK, we worry about weight. Here, that's not a problem. Your pickup's going to be huge, so why not make your trailer huge too? You could even put in a bathtub. Check out those sofas, each one with two cup holders. And what are they looking at? Well, a massive telly, of course. There's also a real sense of fun, with bold colour schemes, wild graphics and wacky names such as Road Warrior. One of the big themes this year is toy haulers which is a caravan in which you can store your motorbike, your quad bike, even your car. You simply fold these benches to one side and you get a huge garage space to put your toy in. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our video diary here in Louisville, Kentucky at the RV show. It has been fantastic. Fascinating to see a completely different market and a completely different type of tourer. But one thing is for sure, the main thing here is fun and enjoying your holiday.